Hello everybody, in this session I'm going to show you how to use some of the ArcGIS Pro analysis tools. In this particular segment we're going to be focusing on the intersect analysis tool. So uh, let's take a look at our scenario here. I've got a bookmark where we've got a burst pipe that we have to address. So if you take a look here, I've got a set of water lines on my screen. So these uh, represent all of the underground water lines. And one of those water lines, unfortunately, has burst. So this is our burst pipe here. Uh, there's going to be some flooding around that area. And I want to determine which parcels uh, which one of these parcels here are going to be affected by that burst pipe. So uh, I know that a few things about the uh, problem at hand. One is that we've got uh, a flooding happening at 150 meters all the way around the pipe. So what I'd like to do is create a buffer around my burst pipe at a distance of 150 meters. And then that way, using that buffer, I can determine which parcels fall within that buffer zone. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is create a buffer around that burst pipe. So I'm going to select burst pipe, make sure that's highlighted, and then I'm going to select the analysis tab on my ribbon. And here I've got a whole bunch of uh, tools. So there's a few ways you can access your tools. Some of the more basic analysis tools are listed in the drop down here in which we can find. Uh, there's also many other analysis tools that you can find in your toolbox as well and you can search for those tools also in the search box. Uh, the buffer tool is going to be included in the uh, basic tools here. So if I scroll down to the proximity section, I'm gonna select buffer. And in the geoprocessing window, it's gonna ask me to uh, select a few options of regarding where I would like to create my buffer. So number one is my input features. So I wanna use the burst pipe as my uh, input feature and uh, my output feature class you can give it a name there it'll put it in the default geo database and here is the distance so this is the buffer distance around your pipe so in this case I'm going to specify my linear unit as meters and like I said I know that that pipe has been uh, flooding at 150 meters around that burst pipe in all directions so uh, now uh, there's a few most of these settings you can leave at the default uh, i like to use a dissolve type of dissolve that way if uh, this pipe here is made up of multiple segments then it'll combine the buffer into all one single layer instead of uh, multiple buffers uh, overlapping so that's what that option will do i'm going to click run and wait for the tools to generate and when it's created, uh, you can see here, it's created a 150 meter uh, buffer zone around that burst pipe. So now what I'd like to do is uh, run an intersect analysis between the burst pipe buffer and the parcels layer to see which uh, of those parcels are affected. So to make it a little bit uh, easier to see, I'm just gonna turn off a lot of my other features here. Uh, so I'm going to only be focusing on intersecting between the burst pipe buffer and the parcels buffer. So if I pop back into my analysis tools, make sure you're in the analysis tab, click your little drop down beside your analysis tools, and in the uh, overlay section you should see our intersect tools. So this is where we can intersect uh, two layers together. Uh, when I click this, it'll bring the intersect options up into my geoprocessing window. So my input features are going to be the two layers that I want to intersect. So in this case, I want the burst pipe buffer, that's that blue layer, and my parcel layer. Now these are both polygon layers. You can also intersect between uh, polygon and points, polygon and lines, etc. So those are my two uh, layers that I'm intersecting. Uh, it'll give it a new name in my output feature class and store it in my geo database. And uh, my output type is going to be a polygon layer the same as the input. So I'm going to select run and it'll create a brand new layer for me showing me all of the burst pipe uh, buffer. 
So here you can now, there's a new la layer listed in my contents pane, and you'll notice that uh, that layer contains only the burst pipe uh, affected layer. So I'm gonna turn off all my other layers there, and you can see this is my new layer. Now, uh, it's also listed this information in my attribute table, of course, and I can come into my attribute table and it'll show me all of the uh, parcels or partial parcels that are listed in that layer, including all of the attributes as well. And it also gives me the areas of those affected parcels. So now I could go ahead and output this uh, data as a report if I wanted to, uh, but uh, that's how the analysis tools work as far as the intersect analysis goes. Um, check the re video on reports and how to make a report if you'd like to export uh, this data in the attribute table to a report. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye now.